Hello there and welcome back to Lies of P yet again. Last time we defeated the uh, Black Rabbit Brotherhood's big brute guy and the others were pretty angry about that and they all ran away. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to be fighting more of them uh, either soon or maybe even in this episode. Um, in between episodes I combined a handle and a blade so we've got the rapier blade with the um the curved sword handle which gives us this move set which is uh, pretty cool uh we're gonna give it a go um stats wise it's a little bit worse than what we were using uh, despite the fact that it's upgraded to plus five and the other thing isn't upgraded at all um if this sucks we'll change back and if not then we'll keep using it obviously but i don't know i'm wondering if maybe the speed might uh be good for us and I think there's only one way to go, so let's let's go. Liar. So what does that say? All puppets will die. Also, anyone who messes with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Okay, the ledger. A uh, sale of 10 ergo complete. I like our old broker man because he always pays well, but when he's in a hurry, it's hard to secure the ergo he needs. Sometimes I wonder if he devours it or something. Why does he need... What does he need ergo for? Does he really eat it? No scribbling on the ledger, kid. Uh, the alchemists are asking for more gold, coin, fruit. It's not easy to get, so this could be a problem. I think the hotel guys are slowly catching on to what's going on. We can physically clash with them, but that's a last resort. Our sibling's safety comes first. Aw, oh, how touching, bro. Shut up. <laughs> uh, acquired five, Ergo. I'm really close to the end of the job selling corpses. Just a bit more and I'll have enough to escape this blasted city. The proposal from the alchemist is tempting, but I'm running short on Ergo and I'm not sure about it. Uh, think about an explanation to the Baron's... Expedition to the Baron Swamp. Give me new parts if you go out of town. A dress for me, a gun and a weapon for me. This is not your journal, dumbasses. Huh, so they, they like, uh, despite the fact that they are, like, clearly psychos, they don't actually seem that bad. Like, they seem like they're quite, um, that they care for each other. Hey, check this out. Looks like you, sort of, from a certain angle. It's going to be like, you know, if you squint. It's young Geppetto, no, isn't just, it? I'm just kidding. No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? With the nose and the... Right? Maybe. Oh, now we've just got it. Okay, cool. Well, uh, what does it say? So, I'm, yeah, I'm guessing that's a portrait of Geppetto. And obviously we were made in his image. Probably. Don't know for certain. A uh, portrait of an aristocratic boy. It pictures a beautiful boy with a peevish expression, but a delicate face. Extremely vivid paintings are said to possess souls sometimes. D. Gray, the, the genius painter, denied all such conjectures. However, his death and the rumours about his paintings are still shrouded in a thick fog. Okay. Oh, uh, I bought the apple as well. I don't actually know what it does, but it's a key item, apparently, or a recollection. Uh, a fresh red apple. It looks like it's bursting with sweet, refreshing juice. A sweet apple. It's particularly precious in crap these days. Um, I also listened to the other record. Um, it wasn't actually as good as the others, which is uh, a shame, but... Um, the music's still nice, I just didn't like the vocals so much on it. Uh, yeah, right, I think it was like in uh, either French or Spanish maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, oh God, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. <clears throat> oh, it's quartz. Oh, God damn it. Okay, cool. I wish I had gotten that at the end of last episode because um, obviously we can get an upgrade now. And that gives us an extra amulet slot, which is actually huge. So we've gone upstairs. So one of the downsides to the weapon we're using is it uses a lot of swinging moves. Uh, this month's trend, stalker masks. Why did the stalkers start wearing animal masks? According to city historians, it was customary to wear animal masks in ancient Krat. It was one of the rituals to show off one's life when one fought the legendary rock titans. Uh, believe it or not... Uh, but this legend is an inspiration for today's stalkers. It's not just for defense and fashion, but also for ranks that show off one's abilities. The link between rank and animal masks isn't clear, but mostly the powerful ones choose their preferred mask first. Perhaps there might even be newbies forced to wear silly masks chosen by their seniors. Oh, maybe that's why that guy was wearing that silly, like, bucket hat 
in the uh, Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Um, in these troubled times of the petrification disease, how about refreshing your mind with an energetic stalker mask? Choose a soul animal to your liking. Various fashionable stalker masks await you. This item includes a spore filter pr to protect against the petrification d disease, patented by the workshop. Hey bro, HQ is toast, so how about a black leopard mask? The workshop's toast too, so why would they make it? Interesting. Okay, so they were actually sort of kind of like gas masks as well, to sort of protect people from getting the disease. Um, yeah, that's interesting, I like it. It's like a haunted house. I both love it and hate it. I'm not sure whether I hate it more or love it more. I mean, this is going to end in my death. Right? Oh, we're going up. Thought we were going down. So this is a transition. This is like a proper transition. I wonder... Uh, wonder where we're going. I would actually quite like a sort of a haunted house kind of level. That would be cool. Oh, is this the Undertaker guy? Yeah, it is. The Undertaker guy. I have no idea how happy I am to see you, Mr. Stalker. This guy? So, who's definitely not an alchemist. There's no way he's an alchemist. <laughs> it's a relief to see you. I I'll get straight to the point. I found the gold coin tree. Who knew it was right beside us? Oh, great. Good for you, but buddy. there's a problem. When I tried to, to, to pick the gold coin fruit, it, it resisted me. Oh, no. I, I couldn't even get close. It actually burned me. It's probably because I have the petrification disease. P -p Pathetic, yeah. So close, yet so far. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. I'll think about it. Um, oh, he's got a talk option. About using gold coin fruit. I heard the alchemists made a device capable of fully utilizing gold coin fruit. I ignored it, assuming it was just a legend. You hear all sorts of wild tales about alchemists. Now that I know gold coin fruit actually exists, though, perhaps it's all true. Hmm. Interact with the Saint Test statue at the Grand Exhibition. You might be able to use the other powers of the gold coin fruit. Okay. Interesting. Uh, how to gain fruit quickly? Uh, I might look urbane now, but I, I, I used to be a farmer. I, I'm, I'm also interested in growing trees. Okay. I heard about a vendor who sells plant alchemy boosters. They might work on this tree, too. If you come across such boosters, bring them to the tree. Okay, so that's how you get more of it, I guess. So we're looking for those items to get gold fruit, which is going to be some kind of currency to get some sort of power or something. There's a literal hunting rifle up here. I kind of feel like that should be my weapon. Um, okay, moving swiftly onwards. I say swiftly. We open doors very slowly, so... Maybe not swiftly. Oh, and this is just the tree. Okay. How intriguing. Oh, it looks kind of like a, um, a woman. Interesting. That's very cool, though. Uh, now it's like gone wow. out. I've got eight. I never expected to see the gold coin tree in a place like this. Oh, and it has. You can harvest gold coin fruit at set times. The fruit is used in several different places. Use boosters to speed up its growth. So it's like a real time thing. Interesting. Um, let's yeah, let's have a look at the uh, the description on it. Uh, Smiling bunny mark. Uh, it was a key item, right? No? No? Oh, material, maybe. Yep. Exchange materials. A rare fruit produced by the gold coin tree. If you take it to Giangio, he will recognize its value. The fruit that resembles gold holds miracles and is thus a precious wonder drug. 
However, no matter how bewitching a miracle it may be, it always comes with a price. Okay. So he's messing himself up, I guess, by using it, if he does indeed use it. So let's go back and let's see what he says. Oh, but it's an entirely different currency up in the top right next to our um, souls, if you will. Stalker, please. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. My friend, I have done it. Uh, purchase? Oh, okay, so he's, uh, you can buy things from him. So, you can get star fragments from him for three. Uh, recovery wish stone. So, are these... Interesting. Frenzy. Increases spectre's destructive power. Explodes when a spectre is hit. Restores legion. Spectre can avoid death once. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, I mean... So if I do trade with him, let's just get this one. Should we get like um, reduces a spectre? Mm. Yeah, let's do that one as well. So, does anything happen? Mm. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I might have just wasted those. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so when I go into the wish stone, if I can remember how, in matter of fact, let's put it on a thing. So we'll do that. Uh, can we also like we can change the wish stone Stalker, on him, can't we? Um, okay, so they literally they're like a one-time use thing, I guess. Um, then we're going to put this one on, maybe. Actually, no, no, no. We'll put the HP recovery one on, and then we can switch it if we go into a boss battle where we think we're going to need a spectre. Cool. Okay. Moving swiftly onwards, then, I guess. And then, yeah, there's, like, so, investigate. Uh, yep, okay. Nothing there. Out here is also nothing. Cool. Uh, we had to, like, move a little bit to get to this area. It's... I feel like there should be... Ooh, hello. How intriguing. Um, I wish that there was a teleport point. Like, kind of seems like a thing that there should be. Right? Because I feel like we're just naturally not going to... Come back... Wait. Oh! It's this place. Wait, what? So where are we going now? Now let's go. Let's go talk to uh, Sophia, maybe. I'll use my power to help. Nope. Now is there like wait? Where are we supposed to go? Um. So if I go teleport. Oh, okay. So uh, that is Geppetto. Let's go talk to Geppetto. Interesting. So, okay, so I'm thinking Geppetto is a bad guy still. That's, like, my theory. I think, like, Geppetto is going to be in an a-hole. Um, and I think he made us in his image so he could effectively, like, become immortal or something. So that, like, when he dies, he can continue on. Uh, maybe he, he's even going to, like, attempt to take over our puppet body or something. That would be kind of interesting. Um... God, if, I, if I'm hitting the nail on the head right now, I'm, like, super uh, happy about that. Mm, what are we going for? So there's attack when discharged. That's, like, quite handy. Mm, you know, crisis. Oh, my HP is low. Okay. Lowers durability from ambush. <coughs> Consumable possession limit is kind of decent. What are we going for here? Hmm. I'm thinking we go for attack maybe when um, discharged. 
gives us like a sort of a last ditch effort kind of thing. And then we've got uh, phase three, so that's recovery of cells, cube uses. Belt slots, okay, that's an interesting one. I didn't actually even know that there was a limit to belt slots, so I don't know whether shortened fruit bearing time. Huh. I don't actually love any of those. I might even just invest in like the ground dodging, maybe. Um, I might honestly just invest in some of the earlier ones and hopefully it will still take us further. But um, yeah, I, I don't love uh, I don't love any of these, to be honest with you. Cool. All right, let's talk to Geppetto. So, so far we have yet to actually enter combat with anyone. You're back. The Malam district was as grim as we feared, was it not? Yes. But with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood out of the picture... Well, they're not, we are they? We can focus elsewhere. And why not strike at the root of the problem? The King of Puppets' lair is on Rosa Isabel Street. Okie dokie. Perhaps the puppet frenzy will come to an end if we can take down their king. I feel as though this Go is and get the key to not Rosa correct. Isabel Street. I already let her know you'll be coming by. I always remember these favors you've done for me. Though it pains me to send someone so precious into such peril. Hmm. Wait, so we need to go and see who? Is it the old lady? Because that's the only female character that I can think of that isn't Sophia. You're in a different spot, aren't you? No, you're not. I think it's her. I think it's this lady. Hurry up. I heard from Geppetto. Yeah, it is. Rosa Isabel Street is ever so dangerous, I'm told. I hoped we wouldn't have to unlock the passage there. But if we want to stop this disaster once and for all... I fear we've no choice. Okay. Geppetto and I care about you very much, you know. Stay safe. For both of us. Mm. I feel like my time is... slowly coming to an end. However, it's a nice feeling to know that someone waits for me. That someone cares. Please take care out there. Okay, Rosa Isabella Street entrance key. Cool. If you, you do have anything else to say? Marlin district, you probably saw the gold coin tree. Maybe. I knew the tree was at the hotel, of course. I'm not the only one. The alchemists showed great interest in its fruit. Mm. I heard it's optimized to respond to ergo. But that's not the important part. Okay. The Krat disaster caused the alchemists to fight amongst themselves. Many people died or went missing. That's the real tragedy of the Rose Estate. They okay. stopped cooperating with the alchemists. Protecting the hotel was too important. I sealed away the gold coin tree so no one would fight over it. I had no idea the Black Rabbit Brotherhood was stealing from it. The hotel is Krat's last place of refuge. I am obligated to protect it. I'm going to protect you and the people inside until the day I die. If you were in my position, you'd do the same, I'm sure. Uh... <laughs> no, fair. Okay, cool. So we have the key now. Uh, where the hell are we going, though? That's the real question. And is there anyone else to talk to? So let's uh, teleport. Uh... Wait, Geppetto again? There's more, there's more Geppetto stuff. Gah! Why? I should have just spoken to him more before I walked away. God, we're never going to actually get to do anything in this episode. It's all going to be uh, talking. Is he going to tell us, like, where to go? Is this that... portrait. Oh, the portrait. I remember it fondly. Yeah, it's a picture of him. I thought it was lost forever. I had no idea the Black Rabbit Brotherhood had stolen it. I mean, it was in the hotel, basically. You, you have brought it back to me. Forgive a foolish old man his memories. Memories of a happier time, my son. 
I know just where to hang it in the hotel. Okay. And there it is. How interesting. You cannot use this right now. So I've heard there's something about um, his nose growing longer in the painting or something. Um, and eventually you can uh, take it. <laughs> Sounds weird, I know. But, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what are we putting as our like third amulet? Stamina recovery? That's pretty... Yeah, no, we're doing that. We're definitely doing that. Okay. So... What's the game plan here? Uh, where in the hell are we going? Wait, hang on. We should talk to him again, just in case. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not coming back Let's here again. Don't ask me any. Okay, nothing. Cool. So now we just need to figure out how to get to Rosa Isabella, Isabella Street, which uh, honestly I have no idea. So let's see where. Uh... It doesn't look like there's anything... So, I mean, Malam District Town Hall is the closest one. But... I don't really understand where... Where are we going? Do we go back to the Town Hall? Yeah, maybe we talk to, um... Vanini, maybe? I always welcome friends. Nope. Um... Well, I don't know where we're going. I'll tell you what, if I go back towards where the gold uh, tree is, maybe. So we go, like, it's the other side, isn't it? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, we'll head back. We'll head back to where the gold tree is. Wait. Is it this way? Oh, it's this way. Oh, it was actually a lot closer. Oh, wait, is it here? Oh! Okay. I inadvertently got to exactly where we need to be. <laughs> um, I know I'm missing stuff, by the way, still. Um, I need to, obviously... Oh, we're going above. We're, like, above where we were. Not a door. So this feels kind of final, which is a bit interesting. Like, because we're going to fight the King of Puppets now, which I assumed was going to be the end of the game. But I, I don't feel like we're at an end game point in any way. There's a bunch of weapons I've not seen as well that I know are in the game. I know there's a scythe, and I know there's like an almost like a samurai sword looking weapon, and we don't have either of those. So Rosa Isabella Street. I'm liking the aesthetic. We're getting back to sort of um, Victorian era. Rosa Isabella Street, the entertainment district. You might call it extravagant. Operas, operettas, street concerts, all running 24-7. Adelina Corday, the singer in the red dress. Oh, she was the most famous of them all. The legendary prima donna. Mm, well, I'm not sure if she's still alive, so while the past tense makes sense, it's... Yeah, it's getting a little depressing. <laughs> Fair. Okay, we're back into, like, puppet land now. We're fighting puppets again. Ooh, strong puppets. But we do have a fast attack speed with this weapon. Like, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just see the difference in damage. We'll kill this guy with this. If it's, like, big, then... Oh, okay. Okay, this weapon is just, like, ten times better. Why would I use that other weapon? Like, we've not even upgraded this. Oh, 
Like, this is, uh... Silly. Spur. Or guard. What are you doing back here? Singing lady? And what am I doing back here? <laughs> Fable Catalyst. Damn. Oh, okay. Uh, the Witch's Tower and the Princess poster. The Witch's Tower and Princess. The comedy praised by audience and critics alike. The Estella Opera House will be presenting its grand finale in the last work of the best writer of Kratz, Capellius Kempelen, as well as the last performance of the red actress Ad Adelina Corday, the greatest prima donna of our time. The greatest adventure of an evil witch, a gallant knight, and a beautiful princess awaits you. Come join an unforgettable experience of laughter, tears, and thrills. Interesting. Hello. Oh, who are you? Oh, my stalker friend. I was worried the puppets had come back. They're demons. They won't give us a moment's peace. Even an elderly lady like me. They wouldn't even let the dead rest if they had the petrification disease. Drives a lady to drink, it does. Yeah. Which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. There's a, there's a wine called La Blimie. Oh, the famous one. When I was younger, they called it the Ruby of the Heavens. I'm sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lorenzini Arcade. You're an enterprising <laughs> lad. Bring it to me and I'll give you something nice in return. Sure. It's pretty straightforward to be talked to you more. Remember, Lorenzini Arcade, a wine cellar, La Blay Oui. Ah, the ruby of the heavens. That had hit the spot. A delight on a tongue. And a memory of bygone days. Okay. Like, the coughing is very annoying. Cluster grenade. That's nice. Okay. So there is still someone alive over there singing opera. Right, so we've been everywhere there. I think. There was somewhere else, right? Wasn't there like a little like side alley somewhere? Wait, am I am I tripping? Oh no no no, we went there, right? Hang on. I'm really sorry if I'm literally just running around in circles here. Yeah, no, that was the side alley. Okay, cool. So now, we go onwards. Uh, puppet friend? So these puppets are quite, like, nothing. Um, Okay, there's that guy. Let's let's kill this guy. Man. Oh wait, 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 wait. There we go. Okay, we got them. Might as well repair. That's one we can't do, isn't it? That's the, like, lightning. Yeah, cool. It's always good to check. So, things are going well in there. Um, I'm thinking maybe we might just jump into those fires. Um, looking at the state of the, the world as it is. It's not really a place we want to live. Um, is that going to collapse? Mm. Artist Doodle. Uh, puppets are the most beautiful of beings. Even their human masters are incomplete beings in comparison. Creation's more perfect than their creator. The creator who created them. Which would you praise more? Interesting. This has got to be like a... No? Okay, we're good. Mate! That's terrifying. Like, why would you make something that looks like that? Apologies to... Yeah, that's the wrong side. So we want like the... There's a puppet on the balcony. You can see that for a start. What the... Hell? 
Do I get anything for that? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, they're terrifying. Um, there's another one? Hey. You coming? Yeah. Okay, they don't explode if you, like, uh, actually straight up kill them. I don't think there's anything in here. <gasps> well, that was an accident. Special report. Uh, foreigner's confession. The alchemist paved the way for Kratz' golden age, and no one denies that fact. But what if, instead of gold, they were to cause an unprecedented disaster? Being a reporter, I received a surprising message from an informant who was once an alchemist himself. It's about a stranger from across the ocean, an alchemist from the Far East who was once famous in Kratz. He learned of the group's secrets and quit. He now uses a different identity, our fear of safety, for his safety. The relic of Trasmagestus is not just a simple ergo mine. That place is dangerous. My source claimed that the alchemists have an ulterior motive, one not for the benefit of the city, and that they have a very risky plan involving ergo. The conspiracy theory about how hundreds of people can die sounded preposterous, but the evidence provided had a surprising amount of credibility to it. So as a reporter, I spent months with the informer and, with the informer and was able to see the dark side of Krat. I intend to deliver my report for the benefit of the citizens. The rest is severely damaged. Uh, publication of this text was banned for spreading false information and promoting social unrest. Additionally, reporter Midoro has been suspended indefinitely from our newspaper. We apologize to the citizens for any trouble. Why would they publish the first half and then put a, like uh, an edit on the end, just saying uh, like, "Oh no, 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 ignore that." <laughs> Surely they would just get rid of it, right? I don't know. Oh, what the hell are you? You're an enemy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, this is horrific. Whoever's idea this was, I condemn you, sir or madam. At least they don't deal a lot of damage. <sighs> oh my god, look at them. What the hell? Oh, it moved. It moved its hand. It like gave me a bro fist. <laughs> weird. It's weird. Oh, I hate them. I literally, I hate them so much. Let's do that real quick. Hello? What the hell did I just hear? Oh, this is horrific. I love it and hate it and love it. So we're going to go up first because... Oh, and this is the other side of that door. And a safe, which we're going to open... A legion plug. So now we can craft a thing. Right, and this is a shortcut. Wait, is it really a shortcut? I don't actually... And there's, there was more, like, down, right? Or are we supposed to go onto the balcony first? Oh, I don't bloody know. Now let's have a look on the balcony. See what's out here. Um... Call me crazy. That looks like not a good place to go. Let's stick to inside for a second. How about that? How about we stick to inside for a second? I'm going the wrong way. So we can go, like, further down in this building. Which I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But, but let's. Maids? Oh, they see me. Oh, really? And maid number three is just like, doesn't care. It was her mistake. She should have cared. A saw blade. As any dutiful maid should have. Oh, and it just leads to the same place, I think. So, like, we can just go out the window and go down the ladder. This looks horrible.
Resplendent Ergo Fragment. I mean, that is good. Right, so. What? Wait, can we climb that? No. It's like gated off. Hello. Oh, what are you? It's like a puppet's parts in a lamp. Interesting. Alright, come on in. You've got a gun! Alright. If I, like, go here, will you walk towards me? No. Oh. Okay, so they do throw... Okay, they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. They don't have a lot of health, I think is the good thing. I mean, what's the deal with this? There's another one in here. Okay. There's this area. Which is nothing. Oh my god, this uh this is terrifying. Uh so how do we there's so many of them. Um Whoa what? Okay. Alright, alright, wait, what the hell? I can't move. I literally couldn't move. Okay, that's one. Problem is, is they're all like they've got bombs and stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, this is using up way too much of my stuff. I'm actually in trouble here. I literally, I need to find another way to deal with these guys. Um, oh, okay. Are you going to come for me? Yeah? Okay. This is better. Um, hang on, let me just quickly... <coughs> Let's put... Do we have throwing cells? I'm sure I picked up a load. Iron protection, emergency protection. Oh, down here. Do we? Oh, not many. We have thermites. I don't think they're as good, though. We'll go for uh, a couple of throwing cells. And then maybe... Oh, it's a one-shot. Okay, that's decent. We don't have to risk ourselves. We can literally just destroy them in one hit. Oh, we could have come from behind by opening the gate. Oh, well. We did it the stupid way. And we've paid the price. But it's okay. Dancer's Curved Sword Blade. Okay. Awesome. I think we can just equip that, right? It should just, like, be in our... Yeah, it's like a fully made weapon. What does that look like? Oh, it's her weapon. The fox. I mean, that is very freaking cool. Uh, it's probably going to be, like, yeah, wildly weak. <laughs> and that's like a... The place where the singing's coming from, I guess. So we can just ignore that. Got the frizzing of the lights. Really gets me. What is this nonsense? <laughs> I'm being like sneaky. I don't want to go to that central bit. Looks like I'm going to get destroyed if I go there. Have okay, we got another throwing cell? That's decent. That's nothing. 
I mean, surely I'm going to get beaten up if I go to this middle bit, right? It's just like spinning on the spot. That is so eerie and weird. That's a locked door. There's nowhere else to go. Unless it's here. No, oh, we've got to go to it. Alright. Come on then, kill me. Whatever you are. Oh, you... What a beautiful puppet you are. Oh, hello. I can hear your springs even if you try to hide them. No, Musicians you're wrong. Have keen ears, you know. Would you like to sing for me like your friends? I have a feeling the sound of your cries will be huh. especially sweet. So she's Let's been killing them. Have an encore performance of pain for the red actress Adelina Corday. Okay. I dedicate this performance to my sister Adelina. I would have very much liked to have been able to attack her during that. Okay, let's get my stamina back because Oh my god. One of those. And one more. And then bop. Bop. My weapon is fucked. Ow. Nope. What? Okay, that was cool. No. Oh my god, I can't do anything. That was interesting. Hang on. Oh. Well, I feel a little bit silly there. Jesus. Oh, through my guard. So if I had have had, like, any healing, I probably would have done that first try. That's annoying. But, hey, it happens. Um, we should be able to get that pretty easily, I think. I'm not anticipating too much trouble with that, I don't think. Oh, there is a bit of a run to it, though. No, it's fine. Like, most of these... Um... Whoa! Most of these enemies are... <coughs> ...pretty dealable. Wait, where am I going right now? Babies! Actually, I think this might be the best way to do it. Yeah, it is, it is. That's a real nice try by those guys there. Right, let's go fight the um, the lady. There you go. I think that went pretty well. Okay, give me a health bar. I hate that, like, her range is, like, perfect for dealing with me. Okay, I'm trying to block them again. She's, like, slightly faster than I am, which is very annoying. Yeah, that one's quite irritating. that worked. I am. 
freaking shrine. No. Come on, give me the give me the repost, please. No. Oh my god, she's just reposting over and over again. Well, there goes that. She's actually very annoying. Oh my god. Okay, is that like all she does? I can't do anything. I'm like just stuck. This is maybe one of the more annoying ones. Oh, okay. I got stuck on something. I don't know what though. <clears throat> this is really annoying. I'm actually getting kind of frustrated with this. Like, cause she's faster than me, and I can't, like, do anything about it. It's like she can just get out of my range. Like, I literally can't hear her. And then she's, like, parrying me, like, every single time I try and do anything. Um... Okay, well, we blocked her thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Please. Scream a record for me if you would. <laughs> wow. The the amount of stagger kind of annoys me with this one. And she's like way faster than me. Like so much faster. It's like, even with her broken weapon, she can friggin' destroy me. That does seem to catch her a little bit, though. If I do that... Yeah. Mm. And now that's open. Okay. <laughs> That's really weird. So it's like, um, my R1 attacks were like really bad against her, but my R2 attacks were perfect. I don't really understand, but hey, -oh. it's all good. So where are we going now? What's all this about? What should we ship out? Uh, the Rosé Estate incident left as a mystery. Uh, the city of Krut decided to put an indefinite stop to the investigation on the disaster that took place in the Monarch Charity House, known as the Rosé Estate. This was to prevent chaos caused by the large-scale spreading of the petrification disease. There have been no confirmed survivors so far. The petrification disease is a deadly epidemic, but this massive spread is unprecedented. The quarantine authorities surmise that the petrification disease caused the novel mutation. The Monar Charity House, how uh, once a boarding school for the kids in the slums was Jesus, I can't read, has until recently been home to the founding Monard family. Many students are refugees. The leader of the alchemists, Valentinus <coughs> Monard, had been confirmed to have passed during this catastrophe, and this will take a toll on the alchemists. Okay, with. So I feel like this links up to where we were, right? We'll uh, we'll open the uh, the thing. Then they instantly can see me if I do that, right? Oh, oh, okay. Here we got that. Good. 
Crescent Moonstone. Uh, Dim Ergo Chunk. I mean, I guess we'll open this. We're going to back away as soon as we do, though. Because those enemies can mess us up. Okay, we've got an item back here that I missed. Oh, wait. Can we even? Hang on. Yeah. Crafty. And it was nothing. It's like a crafty little little item there. And it was absolutely sweet FA. Um, oh, and then we have another thing. This, this guy. A gentleman of exquisite taste. That doesn't work, does it? No. <laughs> uh, how long have I been going for? Oh, we've not got long. We have not got long. Should we talk to this guy first and see what he has to say? Hi. You're walking about in a place like Julian. this. You must be a stalker. Can I ask you a favor? Absolutely not. My wife's body lies on Rosa Isabel Street. There was a fire, and I couldn't reach her through the flames. I know she's gone, but I hate to think of her just lying there. Okay. Would you bring me her belongings? Then I'd have something to remember her by. Sure. Uh, fetch. <sighs> Thank you. Small kindnesses like this give me something to cling to. Her body is on Rosa Isabel Street. She used to look so beautiful in her black dress. I miss her so much. Every day is harder than the last. Please, bring me her belongings. Bit her fishy. Is on I miss her so okay, black dress, Rosa Isabella Street, which I, I think is where we came from, right? I don't know. We're going into the sewer anyways. Seems like the thing to do. I already hate this. Can I not just... Yeah. None? Okay, I'm struggling. Okay, we did it. We have enough to level up now as well, which is uh, something. Enemy to the right, probably. <laughs> Hi. This is weird. This is a very weird location. That's a drop down. Do we want to take it? Don't know. What? What's up? Maybe it's flattened by a boulder. Nothing behind. Okay. I mean, so far, so fine. Wait, now we're getting back out again. Maybe we do want to drop down. Alright, let's drop down. Sure, it'll link back up eventually, but I don't want to like miss anything crazy important. Oh, we're running out of time as well. I actually didn't think of that. Whoops! I checked the time, and we had like ten minutes left, so it's not uh, it's not ideal. Oh wait, is that death? Wait, that might actually be death. Do we risk it? That looks like death, doesn't it? Oh no, actually it doesn't. me. <gasps> no. There we go. We're fine. <laughs> it's crazy how much more powerful the boss weapons are. It kind of defeats the point in, like, any other weapons. Which is a little bit frustrating. Oh! The hell? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Andrew a heal. Oh, did he drop a thing? He did. A crescent moonstone. Awesome. They're like dropping like better ones now. I mean, hey, that was um, that was cool. Hey, pal. I don't know whether or not I picked the uh, the right route here or not. I think as we say, I think it is all going to link back up. Where's this guy? Hello. Do we have a throwing cell? We do not. Fragment off of that guy. Is this a trapdoor? Better bloody not be. Okay. We are running out of time super quickly now. We got a quartz. That was well worth it. Uh, okay. We'll head up the ladder. <coughs> nice. Oh, and it's here. We've linked back up. Okay, awesome. So where is the lady in the black dress? On Rosa Isabella Street. Um, so, I mean, we need to go back to the top anyways, don't we? So, shall we, like, have a quick... Uh, just run real quick. Back to the Stargazer. Uh, we used up not that many. So, okay, I guess I won't rest, and then uh, we'll just continue from here next time. So, uh, yeah, that, that was enjoyable. Like, that boss was a little bit annoying, and it was kind of strange that she, like, didn't know how to deal with my R2 attacks. Just sort of like I got a hit in every time with them, which is really odd. Um, but otherwise, it was cool. Um, I enjoyed it, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, farewell.